there are approximately 300,000 travellers and gypsies living in the UK and Ireland. Oh my God! I told you we can't drive! With unprecedented access to children within the community, <laughs> we explore the world through their eyes. Go on, go on. Skid, skid, skid. Facing prejudice. Jippo bastards. Leave. Bullying. Calls me pikey all the time. And eviction from a young age. Oh, I'm gonna live down. These children are proudly resilient. I don't want my spirits broke, so I just want to still be me. We like who we are, and we slay in who we are. Welcome to their secret world. You want to follow behind? Most people don't understand who gypsies are. And not all the same. We can live in a house or on a traveller's site. It's not a lifestyle. We're an ethnic minority. Some of us are Roman Gypsy. Some of us are travellers. Some of us like school. Some of us want to live at 11 years old. Our world is changing. We are the future generation. This is our story. This generation of Gypsy and Traveller children have more opportunities than ever before. But does the pull of the modern world conflict with their gypsy traditions? Oliver, what are you looking for? I'm looking at all the fences! Twelve-year-old Oliver is an English traveller who lives in Surrey with his family. I'm the best, I'm a proper jockey. Girls <laughs> do 30 mile an hour. When you're doing 30 mile an hour, I always feel like you do 100 mile an hour in a car. It was like flying. Like generations before him, Oliver has a passion for horses. I've got my dad's stallion over there, stepping stallion. I've got my little stepping cob over the back. Riding and selling horses is a big part of traveller culture, especially for boys. Since like Oliver has been a baby, he's been going on horses. Travellers see it as the boys do the horses and they work and the women stay at home and cook and clean and everything. It's not just horses that Oliver loves riding. Should we drive a car? No, tell me about it. Oh, I'm the best. One second, I'll jump into the... One second, let me get a big car. Let them all jump in. How come you drive? I was on my party. Oliver, I'm on top. Did you see the seat belt on? Look, this is what I don't like about these cars, look. Traveller boys are fast learners. He may only be 12, but Oliver is already a confident driver. Here they are. What do you think of his driving now? Crap. Oh, because of the Skid, 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 skid. Go on, go on, go on, do drift. Go on, go on. Don't want to damage your mum's motor. Ah, oh, my ulcer's off. My ulcer's off. How come it's this? My ulcer's off! Someone's let my ulcer off! Someone's let me step her off, mush. Working with horses comes as second nature to Oliver, and he already has a vast knowledge of them. I've had horses all my life. Talk myself, basically. It's quite a lot of work goes into it, isn't it? Not really. It's just, just a, it's a hobby, you know, like you've got a hobby doing your filming and all that. Hobby from us. Well, it'd be a farrier. Why would you be um, Because I like shoeing horses, because I've shoed one before. But Oliver's dream of becoming a farrier may be hard to achieve, as he was excluded from school eight months ago. That ain't even funny. Some boy kicked me down big lots of stairs. And when I went to get up to him, a teacher jumped on me. When I'm in a rage, I'm in a rage, I want to catch him. Some big year 11. 
I still would have done him. <laughs> you can do it, because I can already do it. But you ain't allowed to be professional without GCSEs. If Oliver doesn't return to school, will his dream job remain just that? I see he's getting mad at you now, Sammy, look. 13-year-old English traveller Sylvana lives with her mother and two of her six brothers in a flat in Epsom. Yeah, Sylvana, get me the thing, please. Well, my dad, he had a bit of an Arabic background, but then my mum's an English traveller, so I'm half Iranian, half English traveller. <laughs> I'm quite different to like, many travellers. They're quite old-fashioned. They believe in just, like, the men go out and the women stay home and clean up after the children. I believe women are about as equal as men. Silvana is proud of her traveller identity and doesn't think it will hinder her chosen career path. When I'm older, I want to be a model because then at least I'll have money to look after my family and I'll get to go and see the world. Modelling is at odds with the traditional traveller values, but Silvana's mum is keeping an open mind. She definitely could be a model. Not in underwear and I think. As long as it's in nice clothes and stuff, then I'll, I'll support her all the way along. I'll keep an eye on her. Sylvana is still only in year nine at school, although she is often perceived as being much older. When I'm out, people say that I should be in for modelling, that I look about 16, 17, 18. But when I tell them I'm just 13, they're, 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 well, they're quite surprised. And then they say I should go in for modelling because I'm quite pretty and everything. And then. Oh, that's what I want to do. If you did become a model, what type of life do you reckon you'd have? Wouldn't like use my take my riches for granted. I'd share it with like my family and that because my family's been there for me. Like when my dad died and everything, I just want to like do it for them and make them proud. And I think my dad would be proud as well. So. Sylvana's father passed away when she was just eight years old. Losing a parent just has really changed my life around a lot. Like. It was hard to deal with, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, I did get quite depressed about it, and I wasn't myself. But then I got some help with it and got through it and learned to trust people, to talk to them and open up my feelings more, because I used to bottle how I felt. This cross was my dad's. The day I was born, he put that in my hand and he said, this is yours. It just represents my dad quite a lot, because he means the world to me. So whenever I'm upset, it's here in my heart. To discover what it takes for a traveller girl to break into the industry, Silvana is off to meet well-known Romani singer and former model, Gentina. I'm meeting Gentina to like talk to her. She's a gypsy and she's made it big and achieved her goal. I think my mum's happy with it, but she doesn't want people taking advantage of my beauty and like turning it into something ugly. It's only a short drive to Gentina's house, but the journey Sylvana's embarking on is a world away from what's normal for girls like her. I'm looking forward to meeting Sylvana just to see why she wants to be a model, you know? Because I suppose I can offer some good advice. I have been there, I bought the T-shirt. Oliver was expelled from school eight months ago. He now comes to the local garden centre for tutoring. Deadly this weapon. I show what I use for my pellet guns. I shoot pheasants. Yeah. Most shots I shoot a pheasant. Yup. Yup. <laughs> oh, that hurts. I got a big one here, boys. Make some body power. This should be the world champion. See you She come here every week? Yeah. Every day. Every day. Except from Saturdays and Sundays. You're here instead of school, like what's happening? Got excluded. Why did you get excluded? Because <laughs> he's been a very bad boy. 
I'll tell you the whole story. And tell me your story. A boy kicked me down the stairs. I weren't happy about it. I ran to him, went to grab him. I forgot to kill him right in the face. Anyway, and I'm running down the corridor chasing him. The teacher was behind me. She rubbed the tackled me. Yeah. I, I pushed her over, broke her finger. That's the whole story. Oliver has hour long tutorials with the teacher supplied by the school. So, what are we looking for next then? Um, it's got a cut in the middle. This one to one yeah. tuition helps him to concentrate. Bucks? Bucket. Bucket, good. I'm a mad genius now. Oliver hopes to one day be a farrier, so the tutorials are designed to encourage his interest in horses. But it says that the horse could go twice as fast as the dog. If the dog could go seven kilometres, how far could the horse go if it can go twice as far? Fourteen. Yeah, well done. Fourteen in there, then. Well, I should do twenty-four. <laughs> if the dog could carry thirty... What are you doing? Getting the flake off. How do you find having lessons like this, like on your own? I like it more than school. You can't get an argument. Can't. It's easy. Didn't limp. Do you miss anyone at school or? Just few of me mates. Miss your girlfriend, didn't you? Lay off. Every gypsy hates school. I hate school. I hate everything about it. The only good thing about it is swimming. But um, for me, I like school. Well, I'm good at school, but when people make me angry, uh, that's when, that's when like, I fighting happens. I like school because every time I'm doing a handwriting, I just like get a neater and neater and better. School's been a bit of a mixed emotions for me because I'd have some days that I would like, and then others would be. Uh, Others would be bad. Some gypsies want to leave schools, so have uh, 11 or 12, or some stay until high school. Why is it good to go to school? Because what? then you learn of that, and when you get older, you're not like, what's that mean of that? Eight year old Margaret is an Irish traveller living with her family on an authorised site in North Wales. I really do love living on this side. That's a trailer. You can see that it's very small and parts a shallow and a mobile. It's like a lot more smaller. Go! Go get on the castle! And do you get on with everyone? Yeah. Everybody on the site is because of basically. <laughs> Margaret is in year three at school and is a star student. At school, I be good and get loads of golden tickets. How many stickers have you got? I don't know, about one. <laughs> one, two, three. I got nine. Can you not see? I took one away, so I've got nine. But Margaret still wants to leave education at the end of primary school. When I leave school, I'd probably be 11. I'd rather just stay home and clean up. Margaret wants to follow in the footsteps of her 12-year-old sister, Razan, and her friend, Naisha, who left school at age 11. We were both in the same, like, class. So we both left at the same time because we're getting like a bit old now to go to school and that. I know. And we're ready to leave then? Yeah. Yeah. We didn't, we're not going to, why would we want to learn anything in school? We're not going to be doing anything like that. Traditionally, traveller women stay at home to look after the children and men go out to work. Because of this, 
Many travellers believe that education is unnecessary past 11. What do you think of country people staying in school? I don't think it's right for like people going into school. In Just high school yeah. and college. All things like that. You're supposed to be at home like feeding your children and that, ain't you? Or your baby brothers and sisters. An 18 year old going to school, that's not right. They should be home. So it's really important to keep a good home? Yeah. yeah. You've got to clean. Got Otherwise, clean. when like you get older, people start calling your names and that. So you've got to clean. you're dating the trailer. Yeah, nobody will want to walk into you or eat off you or nothing like that. Today, Margaret is being picked up from school by her granddad, Paddy Doherty, who also lives on the site. A lot of people think uh, it's the child who wants to come out of school. No, it's nothing to do with the child. It's all to do with the family. All children sitting in trailers is like that. The old fashioned, the old and what, the, what they are. We make them that way since they're born. Every child now has got to learn how to read and write. It's very, very important. I don't care who they are, what travellers listen to this. Just because they can't read away, it don't mean your child shouldn't read away. They've got to move with the times. You know, give them that put one step further. Let them go to full Monty. How'd you like school today, my Margaret? It was so okay. What was it? You got many friends there, my Margaret? Yeah. Oh, that's okay then. Are they all travellers? There's two country people who's nice. We've got Kate and Ruby. Caitlin, we have nice names as well, don't we? Why do you want to live it then? Because I don't really like it. You learn how to read, right? I already know how to write. And read? I don't know about reading. <laughs> don't leave school when you're 11. Leave school when you think you're ready to leave school. Do you hear me? <laughs> very, very important. School is very, very important. <laughs> When I went to school, it was just torture. It's just like, you go to school, go in the corner. And the corner was like a regular thing to me. Go in the corner, face the corner. You'd be standing there all day. All day, it was crap. That's why, when I missed out, I make sure my grandchildren and my children got it. All my children can read and write very good scholars. Thank God. I'll go that way. <laughs> He wants me to stay in school as long as possible. <sighs> so do you think you will? I don't know. I am an English traveller. I'm a Romany gypsy. I'm an Irish traveller. Travellers shouldn't change their say for gorgeous to just fit in. We like who we are and we slain who we are. It's important for gypsy boys to be tough. To gypsies, being clean is really important because you don't know who could come over and visit. Fashion is really um, important for us gypsy girls. I'm never going to hide being a traveller because I'm proud to be one. I'm really proud to be a Roman gypsy. I'm a traveller, it's just the way you're born. Thirteen-year-old Silvana hopes to become a fashion model and is on her way to meet one of the few Romani gypsies to have successfully navigated the industry. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm also quite excited. She's got the career that I want, and because we've got the same background, it'd be easier for like, us to communicate more. Silvana's role model is Gentina. She started out as a singer and a rapper before embarking on a career that saw her modelling for some of the biggest names in fashion. I did many things, Tally and Vogue, shops, campaigns. People got a funny view on travellers and um, that they're not really, the women aren't capable of anything other than selling heather. But we live in a modern age now and today young travelling women are doing lots of things business-wise to earn money for their families. One, two... <laughs> to be honest with you, my whole career has been everything against what Gypsy believes in, you know? People in my family were very unsure of what I was doing at the time. Hey, Silvana, you're all right. Come in. <laughs> you're just absolutely beautiful. You look like Janet Jackson. That's what you look like. Who's that? Michael Jackson's sister, Janet. Oh, is it? Your house is amazing. Do you I like it? Want... Yeah, I want to live somewhere like here one day. Oh, God love you. Take no notice of the children and the mess that they've made. No, it's all right. It's the same with my family. Do you want a cup of tea or something? Yeah, please, that'd be all right. 
How come you're so dark? Is that all your family? Is all dark? No, like my that? father's from Iran. Is he Iran? Yeah. And my mum's dark because of, because of my grandfather. He's dark and all. Yeah. It shocked me when I opened the door. Do you know that? Honest to God, it really did. Because I thought. Did it? Yeah. Because I thought. Because there's so many. I've seen so many girls that want want to be models and. You, you know Fake what? tan and all that. Well, it just don't work. Like, you, you, you have to be really naturally pretty or not. And, so, you know, you can make yourself look pretty, but you're not naturally pretty. But you really are just naturally pretty. Even from Thank a distance, you. when I see you over there, you blew me away. You know, like, you've just got everything going on. Just come out here, have a little sit down out here. Oh, I love your garden. It's massive. I tell you now, it's not... Um, an easy thing to do. It ain't a ju you ain't gonna have the loveliest time like when you become a model. It's hard work. It's bitchy. Someone will come along and say they'll say that hair's disgusting. If you want to do modelling, you you better cut that off. You see what I mean? They'll pick holes because that's what their job is. You know, they choo pick and choose who's a model and who ain't a model. Either way, I won't ever feel insecure about myself. Like, I'll always be happy with myself, so no one's gonna change me how I look. That's exactly right. And if you have that attitude, then that's you're bomb proof, really. You will be fine. Do they make you stand out from your community a lot? Do they look at you different? A lot of people in my family and people who I don't know, people, just random travellers, don't like it, but then they're old-fashioned and we live in a modern world today. One of these days I could follow your footsteps, like, go all over the world, make yourself known and that. You sound like you know what you want to do anyway. You've obviously given it a lot of thought. If Sylvana's going to attract the attention of the talent scouts, she will need something to email them. What I'll do is I'll take some photos of you and uh, we'll see how it goes, yeah? Yeah, I'd love that. Just smile with your teeth. When I first saw Savannah, I nearly fell over. I couldn't believe actually how beautiful she was. Oh my God, the hair. And just being the age she is and, and just being so sensible, it's a real beautiful thing to see. And I, I, I wish her all the best. And actually, I think she'll probably go far. Do you know what? You'd make a real good commercial model, like Diesel and all things like that. It was great talking to her and that. To see someone of my own kind become the thing I've always wanted to be is quite amazing and it's unique in a way. Because you don't get many travelling girls like, wanting to be as big as Gentina. She thought something good of me, I can tell. Some gorgeous think about gypsies that they're irritating and they're evil and they, or everybody wants to fight. Sometimes country people can be nice to travelling people and sometimes they can be horrible. Gorgeous think that travellers aren't very good people because they think that like they're dangerous. They call them as rough people but they're not really. Gorgeous need to understand travellers better well, there's some bad gypsies, there's some good gypsies, there's some bad gorgeous and some good gorgeous, but really, that's how everybody is. Back in Surrey, Oliver is getting ready for one of the biggest events of the gypsy calendar. And in keeping with tradition, he's washing his horse in the local river to make sure it looks the part. There's a soil over there. I'm going to go up the bank. I'll give you a little break. Oliver has been excluded from school for several months. I don't want to do school. Don't matter. Never even learnt anything in there anyway. I had about eight, nine books and not one of them had a page full of them in it. Who plays, boys? Oliver is far more interested in his horses than his school books. Even with the one-to-one -one tuition. What do you think about Oliver doing home studying? Because he has been in school and now he's not. What do you think about um, so I find it a bit unfair because of I oh, don't really want to go to school. And he doesn't have to. He get, like he only gets an hour a week, no hour in a day, and I get six hours a day. So it's a, like a bit annoying. But Oliver's a much further behind me, and he is he wasn't getting along anyway. But they are going to try and get him back into a school. But um, at the minute I need to so I can catch up a bit more because I'm still a little bit behind. But Oliver's further behind than me. Yeah. 
Appleby Horse Fair is this weekend. For any gypsy, getting the horses into the best condition is the most important thing. Far more important than being stuck inside at school. That accident is hard boring. I'd be outside doing something with horses. Don't sit inside playing on the Xbox, making your eyes go crossed. I just like horses. Mm, get together with more friends with them. The horse fair is the highlight of the year, where gypsy families from all over Europe meet to buy and sell horses. Oliver is in his element. Look, there's hundreds of people here. They ain't swimming. I'll come up earlier. Down there. Yeah. Look, you fell off his back legs and went to splash in the water. Well, I'm not swimming to save your life. So let me bring that one. With an estimated 5,000 travellers attending for three days, there's plenty of opportunity for gypsy kids to make some cash. Up on the hill, six-year-old Rihanna and her ten-year-old brother Lawrence Lee are running the candy cart. I love Appleby Mullum horses. Stay off school. So is this a tradition that you guys do? So it's like a travel tradition? Yeah. 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 Are you, do you think you'll carry it on when, you have, when you're older? Yeah. Yeah? But, but still we're dead. When they're not at Appleby, Rihanna and Lawrence Lee are happy to race their cousins around the track at home in County Durham. <laughs> Rihanna, she likes the horses. It doesn't matter if it's yorking up, riding, brushing them, mucking them out, anything. She's just happy doing anything to do with the horses. You like a body. Lawrence Lee just loves football. He's not really into boxing and out like that. He's a bit soft. Gypsies aren't huge football fans, but Lawrence Lee is keen to break the mould. There's not many travellers who into football, are there? No. Why is that? Because, um, because travellers, like, doing horse stuff and not football. And that doesn't make any difference for you, no? No, because I like football better. He asked one day, could he go to a football practice? I said, football? Like, shocked. There's no one in the family into football. None of them. Um, I don't know even how he's got into football. It must be just playing with the kids at school. If they playing with the other kids, they learn their ways, you know what I mean, and rather than stick to our ways. This one's party. she's very good. Unlike Lawrence Lee, Rihanna is a traditional gypsy through and through. She's getting her favourite horse ready for a show jumping event. Poor Polly gets covered in pink all the time. I like the pink and she likes pink, so we're like both like matching. So much to whip her, because she's not jumping over the jumps. Following that lacklustre performance, Rihanna decides the only way to motivate her long-suffering friend is to pimp her pony. I've got the jacket. What I need now is a sad cloth or the coat and the waistcoat, and I need mummy. I sure I need something else. One of them, one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. They, 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 I like all of this stuff, like in here. That's nice as well. Rihanna has dragged her mum, Leanne, to her favourite horse emporium to make sure old Polly gets pimped proper. That's reversible, Rihanna. It's reversible, I mean. It means you can turn it inside out and wear it the other way around. So you can have it pink on this side or you can have it like with all the horseshoes mm. on the other side. While the girls continue shopping, 
Lawrence Lee is doing some shooting practice. Why do you like it? What is it about guns, Jake? You can shoot birds and eat them. Oh, do you actually know how to, like, once you shoot me, you know? Yeah. What type of birds can you eat then? Pigeons. So he taught you to shoot? Um, my dad. With Rihanna planning to attempt the jump again, she takes Polly into makeup. Like this. And where do you put this stuff on? Like on the feet. Which looks all right, Rihanna. Yep. Which number does it go on? Let's get on. Resplendent in matching pink outfits, Rihanna and her trusty steed head out to attempt the jump again. Oh, come on. Kick her on. Polly may not have performed, but there is a reason to celebrate. Leanne's finally coming round to Lawrence Lee's obsession with the beautiful game. He likes the football, and that's what he wants to do. I'm happy with that. And it looks like Saturday afternoons may never be the same again. Two weeks ago, he got a Sunderland season ticket. So I'm now going to matches every fortnight from all the way till next year. <laughs> When I grow up, I would like to be um, a famous racing car driver or cleaner. What type of cleaner? Doing what, what would you like to clean? Tiles. I want to do nails or makeup or spray tans. I either want to be a shopkeeper or a teacher. Uh, either a boxer or a cage fighter. If you get a job and you're working for the manager, like probably for a week, Every week you might get some money off of, like, £20 or something. I don't really know, I'd just like to be rich. I would like to be rich, but you have to see when you get older, then you'll know what you are. When I get older, I don't want to do a job because we don't really believe in having jobs. Thirteen-year-old Sylvana's headshots have caught the eye of a London-based modelling agency. Today is her big chance to see if she can get onto their books. Anything could happen, really, but I do hope that there's an opportunity of starting my career as a model. I think it will go well, as long as you think positive after I come out of this place and just hoping something good comes out of it. Yeah, sure. OK, let's do your measurements first. And then we will do some Polaroids, but I might just ask you to take off your eyebrows. You've got a beautiful face. I'll remove my foundation too. Right. Do you want to take it all off? Well, we can try and just take off your eyebrows, okay? But when girls come in, we always ask them to come, you know, natural, no makeup, no oh, nothing. Sorry, I didn't know. No, no, it's fine. So we can just see, you know, you. How you look like? Yeah. And you don't need them. OK, cool, right. Come over here. So if you take your shoes off... Right, so stand underneath here. OK, so back to what? OK, you're not standing up on your tiptoes or no. anything? Sometimes we get girls and guys who do that, and I'm like, are you kidding? No. OK, so you're five foot five. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I thought I was that height. Have you got any brothers or sisters? I've got six brothers. How tall is your tallest brother? Um, I'd say he's about six foot something. OK. Basically, my question is, I want to find out if you're going to grow. Um, what shoe size are you? Five and a half. Um, and then dress, you're like an eight. Yeah. Yeah? Sylvana seems to be measuring up. 26. But there's just one issue left to be addressed. Um... A million dollar question, would you cut your hair? Never. OK, so if we had a job for you for £10,000 and they said, OK, Gemma, I want to cut Sylvana's hair. I don't want to cut it too much. I want to cut off, like, you know, sorry, for, like, you know, that much. What would you say? Being a model, you are a product, so to speak. You are a blank canvas. But as a gypsy girl, Sylvana is adamant. I don't know how to say it, but my hair's 
priceless to me. It means everything to me. It's so limiting for a client. You are, you know, so beautiful. You've got a perfect skin tone. Maybe it's something new for a change, because maybe every model you see has got, like, hair that's, that's middle length. To see a model with hair as long as mine might be something new and eye-catching. Let's not dwell on it at the moment. I think we need to do some Polaroids, see how you are on camera. That's most important. And then if me and the team like you and think we have potential, then really it would be up for seeing what the clients think, because they are the ones who are going to book you. It's different me telling her to do something with her hair, but maybe if she was on a shoot and she can see the logistics, she can see a photographer and makeup, and they're saying, OK, you know, who knows? My hair is just a part of me. It's my natural beauty, and if I cut it... Really? It's one part of my... It's a crack in my spirit. And I don't want my spirit to break, so I just want to still be me, whether I'm a model or I'm not. Today, eight-year-old Margaret's thoughts about leaving school are firmly at the back of her mind. Where are you going today, Margaret? I'm going to Epsom with my family. It's Margaret's first time at the Epsom Derby, and she wants to look her best. Travis always put makeup on, or sometimes the girls put lipstick on. What's the thing that you're most looking forward to? The fun fair. <laughs> Every year, Epsom comes on. It's fantastic. And it's fantastic for the meet people. And it's where the children meet their own race and they're mixed. And young boys and girls get to mix each other, you know what I mean? Now, it's just packed with loads of young girls and they're all done up like out of this world. I love it. My daughter loves it. And my grandchildren's children will love it with the help of God. Get in, Susie. Come on. In your chair, Susie. Please, Mama, you won't go on the rides with me. There you go. Lift you. I love you too. Look at all them people, Mummy. Oh, yeah, Dad, you are. Oh, no, chatty in the middle. Epsom is an opportunity for the community to come together, where boys and girls meet and love can begin. Some of the girls go in, look at the boys. The boys sometimes look at the girls and say, oh, they're nice, ain't they? Margaret will be coming to Epsom every year from now on, but she's in no rush to get married. My friend's sister got married at 16, but I think she shouldn't have got married like when she's a lot more older. Do you have to be in love? When you get married? You'd be in love, yeah, but sometimes travellers have arguments and then just leave each other. When you're a baby, you can get them anywhere you want, like any baby rides. And when you're a big girl, like a grown-up, you can get them any big rides you want. But when you're in the middle, you don't know which one to go on. That was very scary. How do you feel now? My back is killed me. I'm tired. Traveller children often grow up fast. Whether it's leaving school at 11, getting married at an early age, or taking on extra responsibilities at home. It's very, very hard to grow up. When you're a child and you're a child, it's very, very hard. I've got a grandson, he's 13, but he's like 21. All children children are like that. And they're all like old men. It's a different world now. It's not the world our grandfather. Everything's internet, website, phone. So they've got to move with the times. It's just why education is so important now. Very, very important. Get your child to college. Because our way of life is dying out, like dinosaurs. 
Paddy will continue to offer Margaret advice, but she's growing up quickly and making her own decisions. Being eight years old is good and bad. You have to mind your sister and you can't do what all the older girls do when they're walking around by themselves. But Margaret's made her decision. She wants to carry on being like the older girls and follow tradition by leaving school at 11. I'm looking forward to leave school so I can do my own thing. I'll probably help my mommy and then I'll do my job, like do people's turn, do the nails. I'm looking forward to grow up. Sylvana's meeting with the agency has raised some big questions and made her think twice about a career in modelling. Didn't you explain to the woman and tell her that in traveller culture, that like, it's like in our culture, like girls keep their long hair? Yeah, I did explain that. Like I said to her, it's just my main identity. But then I also mentioned dad and he was like to me, oh, your hair's so beautiful, don't ever cut it and that. It's one of the few things he said to me before he died. If I cut off a part of my beauty and identity, which is also a part of Dad as well as you, for, like, for, for my lust of money, then it really wouldn't be worth it. See, the thing is, with travellers, like, we don't forget where we're from. We will, ne we will never forget our background, like, the long hair and stuff and things like that. Like, why, should, why should you change your culture, who you are and your identity to please other people? I've never actually felt stronger because it's like something new that I've experienced and it's not just about that, but like at least I know what to expect and no matter what happens in life, I'll just still stay on my, my ground and just be me. Like nothing's ever going to change me. And back home, away from school, Oliver has big plans. One day, he hopes to open his own stables, like generations of gypsies before him. That's where my stables are. Show you, you'd love it. I'm gonna get a new floor put in there. Upstairs and get myself a cart put in. Well, I won't get a free there, so I've seen that. No, it hasn't. But hold that back then. What the hell's this meant to be? That's where I'm putting my woods. Cleaning it out. Right. I'm gonna put a piece of wood across there. I'm gonna put myself a hay manger there. <laughs> <laughs> I have not gone to school, but I would like to have a good education. So what subjects do you need to become a fan? English and math. You doing all right at those at the moment? Do you think you'll get them? I'm doing all right. I ain't doing the best. Do you think you're going to do it? Easy peasy. They want to send me to some crazy school, but I'm not crazy enough for that. Oliver doesn't know if he'll ever return to his old school, but the next couple of years with the horses are already planned. I got to college when I'm 14, I think, but for that I just do jockey, because I think I have a jo proper jockey place in there, and I'll be a jockey. The clock is ticking for Oliver and the Gypsy and Traveller kids. In an ever-changing world, will they continue to be treated with suspicion and face exclusion from the mainstream? The future for the next generation is far from certain. Next time, 12-year-old Romani Gypsy Ben is taken to the skies, but only if trouble at school doesn't hold him back. I've just had a phone call to tell me that Benjamin has been attacked. Quite a lump, isn't it? No one should have to go to nine schools because of who they are. Is four-year-old English traveller Rudy old enough to watch his cage fighter dad in the ring? I'm a gypsy right now! Twins Johnny and Abraham are revelling in the freedom of a gypsy childhood. Oh my god! I told you we can't drive! While eight-year-old Irish traveller Olivia is facing eviction for the second time this year. Where are we going to live now? It was the crime that shook the nation, but what made Karen Matthews do what she did? Shannon Matthews, The Mother's Story is brand new tomorrow night at 10.
But next, the traffic cops find themselves under attack. <laughs> 